billion. Over 10 years of dependence, 71 seats. These are the talking numbers that showcase the stagnation and helplessness of the United States as it relied on Russia for over a decade to transport astronauts to the ISS. It'll be more to blame if this happens because the US is considered a leader in the aerospace industry. To reclaim its inherent position, NASA has found many ways. However, it won't be until 2020 that a America's pride could sing again. Surprisingly, the person who brought this glory was not NASA itself, but a private company called SpaceX, founded by billionaire Elon Musk. This truly left the entire nation of Russia in shock. Let's find out why in today's episode of Great SpaceX. About a decade ago in the United States, they had to depend on Russia to get NASA astronauts to the ISS after the agency retired the space shuttle fleet in 2011. However, in 2020, SpaceX's historic launch of NASA's astronauts from American soil marked a turning point for the nation. It signaled the resurgence of the United States as a formidable space power capable of independently sending humans into space. This remarkable achievement was made possible by the Dragon spacecraft, which swiftly became a source of immense pride and inspiration for all Americans. The ability of a private American company to launch its own astronauts to the ISS and safely return them without depending on Soyuz capsules dealt a significant blow to Russia's space program, which heavily relies on the ISS for funding and international prestige. While Russia Russia still relies on Soviet-era technology for its space launches, SpaceX has been able to develop reusable rockets and capsules that significantly reduce the cost of space exploration. The Dragon spacecraft is the best short answer, astronaut Shuichi Noguchi of the Japan Aerospace Agency said, comparing the experience of piloting NASA's space shuttle and Russia's Soyuz spacecraft. Unlike the three Soyuz capsule crew modules, the Dragon is made up of only two parts, the crew module and the crew module trunk. It is constructed in the same manner that the Apollo command modules took astronauts to the moon. The crew Dragon is somewhat larger than the Soyuz, measuring 1 meter tall by 4 meters in diameter, giving the astronauts additional space. The Soyuz only seats three people, whereas the crew Dragon has seats for up to seven astronauts, though NASA will not use more than four at a time for the commercial crew program. It's too small and cramped, said European Space Agency astronaut Andrei Cooper of Russia's Soyuz spacecraft. What's more, it's even more convenient when SpaceX's engineer John Fader Spiel said the company wanted to make Crew Dragon feel like a 21st century spaceship, explaining that perhaps one of the biggest features of the Dragon is the touch screen on the inside. We designed them not only to be functional, but also to have a user experience in mind. They are simple in-flight computers computers controlled by mechanical keyboards. The commander controls those ships the same way you fly an airplane. On the contrary, the control panel of the Soyuz spacecraft is equipped with hundreds of switches, signal lights, and measuring instruments. Undoubtedly, each of us prefers to utilize what is modern and straightforward rather than a control panel with numerous buttons where we are unsure which one to press. Ultimately, SpaceX's greatest strength is undoubtedly the price of a seat on the Dragon, which is much cheaper than a seat on the Soyuz with its partially reusable Falcon 9 rocket and reusable Dragon spacecraft partially used compared to the fully unused usable Soyuz system after launch. Additionally, SpaceX charges half the price, with a seat on Dragon 2 costing $55 million. With its superior design, competitive pricing, and advanced features, the Dragon spacecraft has surpassed Russia's Soyuz in every aspect. The stark contrast between the two has not gone unnoticed by Russia, which now recognizes SpaceX as a formidable competitor in the realm of space exploration. Indeed, the success of Dragon has not only enabled government-funded missions, but also allowed private companies to lease the spacecraft for cargo and equipment deliveries to space. In the past, Dragon has successfully teamed up with other private partners, showcasing its versatility and adaptability. The first Inspiration4 is a historic space mission conducted by SpaceX led by entrepreneur Jared Isaacman. 
It is the first all-civilian mission to orbit the Earth. The crew was launched into space aboard SpaceX's Crew Dragon spacecraft named Resilience on September 15th of 2021. The Inspiration4 mission represents a significant milestone in commercial space exploration, demonstrating the capabilities of private companies like SpaceX to conduct crewed missions beyond the traditional realm of government agencies. Then, the Dragon spacecraft enabled collaborative missions with Axiom Space, a private company that has partnered with SpaceX for their space travel services. In 2022, this partnership achieved a significant achievement by conducting the first fully private flight to the International Space Station involving two private companies. Based on this success, two more Axiom flights have been signed and scheduled for the future. The next flight is set to launch on May 21st of the upcoming year. Notably, due to the reliability of SpaceX's Dragon spacecraft, entrepreneur Jared Isaacman has maintained a collaborative partnership with SpaceX for an upcoming mission called Polaris, currently scheduled for a launch no earlier than September 2023. This is the first of three tasks in the Polaris program that was previously planned as a part of their continued collaboration. The most recent development involves a partnership between Vast, a private startup, one of the emerging players in the space travel industry, and SpaceX. They have joined forces in a collaborative venture to launch the world's first private space station, Haven 1, and use the Dragon spacecraft to regularly transport passengers. This ambitious plan is to commence launches as early as 2025. Furthermore, Vast has secured an option with SpaceX for a second mission known as Vast 2, scheduled for 2026. These partnerships exemplify the tremendous potential for commercial enterprises to harness the capabilities of the Dragon spacecraft and extend their influence in the domains of space exploration and tourism. By capitalizing on Dragon's capabilities, these collaborations enable businesses to broaden their horizons and seize new opportunities in the dynamic space industry. These rapid advancements made by the Dragon and SpaceX have significantly overshadowed Russia's Soyuz. This is evident from the declining partnerships within the Russian space industry. For instance, OneWeb, an internet provider via satellites, was exclusively relying on Russia's Soyuz rocket for launching its satellites. However, due to conflicts with the Russian Aerospace Space Center, OneWeb made the strategic decision to cut ties and incurred substantial losses worth over 200 million US dollars in favor of a more reliable partner, SpaceX. Russia has suffered a significant setback as it lost its most substantial business venture to date, a crucial aspect of its space programs that are already grappling with budget cuts and technical challenges. The Russian Soyuz missile situation has clearly deteriorated and this is a fact that is hard to deny. The capsule was unable to complete its mission of returning astronauts after a sudden leak occurred last September. In this context, the Dragon spacecraft is the only vehicle outside of Russia's Soyuz program that can return astronauts to Earth safely. Adding to the complications, the Soyuz spacecraft has encountered further difficulties due to delays associated with the Baikonur Cosmodrome in neighboring Kazakhstan. However, Kazakhstan has imposed steep annual fees and in March of 2023, it seized control of Russian spaceport assets, reportedly due to outstanding debts owed by Roscosmos. Russia's Soyuz rocket has officially lost its launch pad, so we will not be too surprised if Russia finds itself in a position of having to purchase dragon seats for trips to the ISS. They also never anticipated that the person it had initially denied selling rockets to would emerge as a leader in the aerospace industry. It's also something we can't even imagine. And honestly, SpaceX's Crew Dragon not only shocked Russia, but also NASA itself. Even NASA was unable to launch astronauts on its own for several years. Yet, a private company like SpaceX has made a significant leap forward with its innovation and modernity. In fact, the Dragon spacecraft has become a primary vehicle for government contracts, undertaking numerous crucial missions. It's truly remarkable how SpaceX, with its ingenuity, has surpassed expectations and become a game changer in the space industry. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode. If you enjoy what my team and I are doing, you can become a patron through our Patreon link in the description below. Otherwise, as always, this is Kevin from Great SpaceX, and we'll see you soon.